Hey, what up America? Happy Friday to you, it's Freedom Friday. The very first Friday of a black American's true freedom. Now today is August 23rd, 2019. Now I've been on cloud nine, man, I've been floating, man. I, I, I'm just feeling good right now because that curse is over. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, about that 400 year curse, you're gonna have to go back into the archives and watch the 400 year curse over a video that I posted on a Tuesday to commemorate the 400 year anniversary. But we're talking about freedom. What does freedom really mean? What's the definition of freedom? Well, the true definition of freedom, and it's, it's Freedom Friday meaning I'm all over the place because uh, we're gearing up for that fall season, man. We're going to break it down to, politi to politics. We're going to break it down to, to the social and economic advancement, and that's the brand. So A Better Black America is a TV channel exclusively on YouTube. But we're going to, man, we, it, it, this is the spot. You know, we're going to talk about it, okay? Because we're black people and it's time to advance the race. Instead of celebrating 55 years of advancement, you know, we're going to have to pick up the mantle when it was blown off the hands of our civil rights leaders back in the 60s. But when I say freedom, now one of the synonyms for freedom is independent. One of the, the synonyms for freedom is independent. So when I look at the political scope, you know, we might need to start entertaining and talking about being an independent body when it comes to voting and legislation, because the two party system is pretty much in a civil war. And there's no one, you know, that can actually either debate or or convince me or black Americans that both political parties are fighting for the freedoms and liberties for black folk. OK, America is a republic. And we learn that, you know, when we learn the Pledge of Allegiance now to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. So it's a republic and it's God fearing. So therefore, we're going to have to um, use our common sense and stop allowing people to draw out and frame our disposition moving forward. Because as black people, we're driving this train and black is an acronym. I mean, it's black, the black race. You know, you got orange is a new black. No, black is the new black. And it's time to get back to black because that African-American thing, that's that's that ethnicity that that was the supposedly to, was supposed to be the death nail for the black race. But we've, we we um, we survived and we made it to the time. So the spirits are all aligning up and, you know, it's no secret that we're living in these times. I mean, come on, all things have purpose. So while Generation X is in their prime of their life, you know, the black race is being, you know, um, deregulated and busted up and hoodwinked and broke down to a ethnicity and being put in the pot of the minority group. Now, the pot of that minority group includes white women and includes uh, gay white men. So you can't be a part of the majority and a part of the minority. It's like being a criminal and a victim. It just doesn't make sense. So let me just tell you what freedom is. This, this is Freedom Friday, the first Friday after the 400 year curse. Now freedom, the power or right to act, to speak or think as one without hindrance. And that's what we gotta do. Okay, our revolution is being truth tellers. Our revolution is just telling the truth. We don't have to pick up a gun. We cannot rise up against the most powerful nation, these Americas, in which we have 400 years of equity, you know, and it's time to talk about that. 400 years of equity. 2019 minus uh, 1619 equals 400. And yes, we were here before as indigenous native and we came on different ships. You know, but the first documentation and you can look it up at the Smithsonian at the African-American Museum and American history. That the first documented transatlantic slave was August 20th, Jamestown, Virginia. So we got to get this thing together and we gearing up and getting into the fall. So we got this back to black campaign, meaning we're we're debunking that African-American thing that they put on us. And we're getting back to black. And that was a game that was played by 
Lyndon B. Johnson and J. Edgar Hoover because black was in the 60s, you know, black was, you know, beautiful. You know, we was black and we was proud. We had soul power, but we have no power in that African-American thing. So it's time to get back to black. So in this Freedom Friday, I'm just going to be throwing some things out there. Some of the things that we're going to be talking about moving forward this fall when you talk about the advancement of the black race from a social and economic perspective. And like I said, that acronym for black is black, Latin, Asian, Caucasian, kinsmen, meaning we're blood related. You know, all all souls belong to God. We are all related to, to some magnitude. OK, now even inclo- includes whites. You know, we are all related. We're all human beings, because if I went and got with a white chick, and we had a baby, we gonna have a baby. OK, so that it's a human race. So it's time to stand up and fight for humanity, for the human race and be the mediator between this two party system in which they're in a civil war. Because if you are a true Democrat, if you're a true Republican, you just just fight it out, you know, and at the end of the day, the people suffer. So there has to be some mediators, you know, and it has to be a sovereign group of people that's in the middle that's basically holding both sides accountable for the humanitarians, you know, because poverty is one thing that we're going to have to talk about, you know, distribution, ownership. Okay. And I'm from the Los Angeles area. So we really are going to focus uh, on local election. And I started with city council. So we have a uh, district eight is one of the ones because that's the, the hood that I grew up in the community that I grew up in and, it had issues with the riots and some of the, the businesses, they never came back. So that's a, 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 a place right there where we can somehow hunker down and put our legacy, put our stamp on it and be able to um, survive through the generations so they can see what was, what will and what will be moving forward. But we're going to have to do this as a collective, because like I said, we're not rising up no Messiah type figures because we know you know what they'll do to a messiah type figure the last messiah type figure we had for the black community god rest his soul was bobby kennedy okay john kennedy's younger brother okay he won the california primary and when he came to la you know you can look at the documentaries when he came to la you know they was they wanted to touch his hands he shook so many hands his hands were swollen okay and that was pretty much the last true democrat that blacks as a race could support because to move forward, we're going to have to have an agenda uh, and, and, and we're going to vote collectively. We're going to make a decision and we're going to vote as a block vote. OK, for who we choose to. And right now we don't have a, a particular candidate, you know, because we don't have that 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 iconic figure or that rock star like Obama or that rock star like Trump, because Trump's still doing rallies. And I mean, he's still doing his thing. He's running for 2020. So if you're going to beat the guy, you got to come correct. And I'm saying this to say, and I'm saying that to say this, because two presidential candidates came to the L.A. area to District 8 and they came to Vector 90, one of the programs, you know, that uh, Nipsey Hussle was is was part owner in. God rest his soul. And they had, uh, you know, some meetings. You know, I've been a part of some think tanks and I'm going to share a little of that with with you in closing. But Pete Booty Bud the openly gay president, you know, and the, the conversation around the, the, the circle was saying, you know, is America ready for an openly gay president? And then the debate was that openly gay, that gay white men are the most discriminatory and the most racist people on the planet next to white women. If, they, if you don't believe me, go to West Hollywood. OK, they really discriminate. You know, they really protect their brand. So blacks, we're going to have to t- have to take a page out of their handbook and protect our brand as well, because our race supersedes our sexual preference and or our gender. OK, our race comes first. OK, so that's how we're going to connect this, because like I said, it, just say, for instance, you know, as a heterosexual, I go to the club and I bust me one. Give me a you know, I, I go home with a hottie. You know, I'm not married and I, you know, I do my thing. But I'm not going to start a revolution and say, hey, fornication for now, fornication forever. That's between me and my God. OK, so we can't be promoting, you know, what you do, just like we can't promote, you know, being fornicators because we are God's people in this case by case. But our race supersedes our sexual preference and our race supersedes our gender. So, sisters, you know, just stand by because we're going to put a plan together that you guys will, will love to be a part of. 
And then, like I said to my gay brothers, man, if, if four black gay guys are walking down the street, all they see is four niggas. And I'm gonna just keep it 100 with you. But what I'm saying is, we're gonna have to hunker down. You know, on this Freedom Friday, man, I'm feeling good. We're gonna have to hunker down and, and do our first work over and be black, okay? And, and be collective and have an agenda. So this is going to be the meeting ground. You can make, you can do your comments, you know, all comments, negative, positive ideas, because this is going to be the one-stop shop because all press is good press, you know. But I'm gonna just go ahead and just tell you this little quick story to let you know what convinced me that this independence, one block vote as a black race has to be important because somehow white women and white men are claiming, classifying themselves to be minorities. And I'm saying this because white men because they're gay, or I'm a liberal, so I'm a minority. No, you're a white man. You are a white man, bro. I, I just hate, I just gotta tell you that. So we don't need you over here organizing and, and, and putting plans together for our race because your race is, you know, is the, you know, got the gold medal. We trying to get that silver medal, okay? Not the Constellation Prize, but we trying to get that silver medal, okay? But I got a story before I tell you, and I, and I gotta go. Now, the ESPYs, this past ESPYs, okay? Those of you who don't know me, you know, I, I um, have a little private company and I drive black car service and I had a, a ride from uh, the Ritz Carlton, which is next to the JW Marriott downtown LA, right after the ESPYs, you know, and I had a little contract. I was working with the Bleach Report uh, in the Hollywood Hills. So I'm in Hollywood, so I shoot down, go pick these ladies up, these, these beautiful white women, they came and, and, and they had the evening gowns on. And I'm like, man, I have my jacket on. If I had a hat, I would have put it on. I jumped out, opened the door, and they were like, oh, thank you. You are so nice, you know? It, you know, they got in the car. So as, I, as I'm coming out, I believe the street is Georgia. And I made a right on Olympic, which I should have stayed on Georgia to keep going forward to get to the one-on-one. -on -one. So I banked the right, and the navigation said, you know, keep straight. So as I busted you on Olympic, from the right lane, you know, it was it was uh, about 1130 ish, but the traffic was slowed down and I busted you and I seen a motorcycle cop in my peripheral. I saw him putting his glove on, like got me one. I said, man, I, you know, in my mind, I'm like, man, I screwed up. I busted you. Total traffic violation. But somehow I, I tend to get out of these traffic tickets somehow. But in this case, you know, I'm like, OK, I pulled over and I said, excuse me, ladies, I'm about to get pulled over by a police officer. Um, and they start looking where, where, where? So when I pulled over and I said, I'll take care of this, the ladies were sitting in the back. And by the time the motorcycle cop got to me, who happens to be white, when I rolled the window down, they rolled their window down and started cussing him out. You are a racist. You are a racist. A black man can't have a Cadillac. This is our driver. You are a fucking racist. Excuse my French. And I'm looking at the cop and I'm like, man, Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't mace me, man. Don't pop me upside the head. I, I don't know these hoes. So next thing I know, he look at me and he goes, get out of here. I look. He said, yeah, get out. Go ahead, Rashawn. I said, boo, Sean. But go ahead, Rashawn. Get out of here. He's a racist. And the whole ride, they talking about how they understand the struggle of being black and understand the story of being a minority. And I'm sitting back like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah. You know what y'all just did? Y'all just started a revolution because, you know, you guys are the most privileged and protected people on this planet. So that's where we are right now. They just started a revolution. And the revolution is basically just telling the truth, just being truth tellers. Because telling the truth is revolutionary during the times of deceit. And we're living in deceitful times. So happy Freedom Friday to you, man. And it's uh, we, we're going to keep this content going, man. So I just wanted to just do a little quick video just to keep it rolling. Go back and watch some of the other videos to catch up to speed. But uh, this fall, man, we dropping. You know, it's going to be, you know, it's a great time to be black. It's a great time to be living. So don't get caught up in all the madness because all things have purpose. And with that being said, happy Freedom Friday to you. A better black America. Peace out.